Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Just Breed. Last time, we rescued Cosette, and, um, Hans left. Yeah, so Orloff has left, and Hans has left. This is just great. We're back down to three armies. Wonderful! Uh, let's see. Oh, here is uh, Hans's army just kind of hanging out by this gate, so we might as well talk to them. Yeah, it was pretty short, I've got to say. Could you, like, get out of my way, random NPC? I don't have time to talk to you. I have actual people that I want to talk to. Yeah, it does seem very unreasonable, I must say. Um, now, if you leave down here, you can do that battle over again, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is stream myself over to Ashtalom, use the inn, then I'm going to warp back down to Bonn and meet you there. Okay, I got that stuff taken care of. Hey there. Um. Yeah, he's kind of uh, put us in a tough spot here. What victory? Well, we did defeat the bandits, but that's kind of a shallow victory. I guess that's everybody that I have. Yeah, I'm, I, I keep on looking around like a, as if I have somebody else in my army, but I don't. Oh, hey, Lydia. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Nice! And right as Hans's army leaves, we get Lydia's army, so we're like, always stuck at four. Well, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Um, this battle? Somewhat easy, I've gotta say. Yeah, there will probably be some casualties, but because there are so many enemies and they're kind of all bottlenecked into a small point, you can use some really powerful spells and just wipe the floor with these guys. This is a pretty good grinding map if you want to use it for that. Also, off screen, I disequipped Hans's army from everything. And um, yeah, I know what you're probably thinking. What about that Luna bow? Can't your other archers use that? Well, the answer is no, they can't. That is a Hans only piece of equipment, unfortunately. Um, but the other stuff that his army had, I went ahead and I passed all that junk down to Lydia's army, uh, just in case they needed some upgrades. They don't exactly come with the best equipment or anything, unfortunately. Yeah, I already had one casualty, because these guys can spit fire on you. But now that they're all just kind of right together, I can use my flame sword, I can use my Berlay spells, I can use my Freebane spells. Yeah, these guys are down for the count. And uh, don't forget that I have these speed shoes on David's army, because as usual, he starts in the, um, the back, and he has to be the one to actually make it all the way to the next town, so he needs as much movement as he can possibly get. As far as Lydia's offensive spells are concerned, she pretty much just has the around spell, and then she has a bunch of healing spells. Thankfully, her mage does have the free being spell, so that makes um, her army pretty powerful. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of nice. She is kind of a good replacement for Hans, insofar as that she has healing spells, but she also has an attack spell, which Hans didn't have. As far as the music is concerned, I am done with Tales music at this point. Um, I think the last video I did, I did Tales of Zillia and Tales of Zillia 2. But now I've moved on to Wild Arms music per viewer request. So yeah, we'll be uh, showing off some of that. And then I think I, that there's probably five or six more battles to go. So I can probably get one more game um, as far as the game music. So again, let me know. And... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Whatever. You know, it is what it is. Anyway, keep your people healed. I like Karen for healing because she has nothing else to do. She's the most useless mage in all of useless magedom. Like, why even give her to you? She's just, ugh. Yeah. But thankfully, now that Roland has the flame sword, he is so much more useful. And uh, he'll actually be able to get experience for his army. What a concept! So at this point, what I did was I went ahead and had everybody else go north so that they can just work on these enemies over here. Not that I need to kill these enemies, but just to try to get some extra experience points for these armies and some extra gold, because 
I can use all the gold that I can get. Gold is always in short supply in this game. But, you know, extra experience always helps too. Whoa! Wow, I'm not like, killing these guys dead. Like, oh my god. Like, this is so, so, so good. Um, it, it's kind of unfair as far as the experience goes. Like, Duval's army is going to get so much because his mage has great spells, and Duval himself has great spells. All the other armies, it's either mage has good spells or the hero has good spells, but he's kind of the exception of the rule there. So yeah, we're, while they're gaining experience, David is just kind of heading over here to land on the town, and I am done. Well, we made it in. Let's uh, just go exploring. Um, okay... Yeah, you really can't understand anybody here unless you go over here and talk to, uh, Duval. He's gonna be our interpreter. Okay. And, uh, let's just go on through and talk to people now. Now you can see all their gibberish, and then he's going to translate for you. Oh. Oh! Really? That'd be kinda nice. That'd come in very handy. I do need some new weapons, actually. Oh, yeah, all the good parts of town, all the shops and everything, uh, was sunk underwater. Yeah, I'm right with you there. I don't know, I guess it's their own foreign language or something. Oh, wow, this guy really seems angry. He's just going on, isn't he? Oh, okay, so the monsters just came, huh? Oh, yeah. Great. Huh. I wonder who did that. I'm imagining it was Gul Del Rey. Oh, well this guy likes me. Uh, hey, that's something. Um, no. We have puzzles to solve. And people to talk to. Oh. Yeah, we kind of knew that, but do you know anything more about it? Oh, attacked by monsters at the dam. Huh, that's rough. Oh, yeah, good luck with all the cleanup. That would really suck. Um, I guess, but maybe his, he has a job. It's just flooded. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's just a drunk. Uh... I guess that's probably what I would do if my house was flooded. That would suck. Huh. Hey there. Oh, yikes. Huh, well, he'll only speak with women. Well, luckily for us, we have a woman who just joined our party. Sure. Okay. Oh, we actually have more than one person following us behind? Who knew? What a concept. I wonder what he's gonna say to her. <laughs> so he just wants to hit on her. Um, as an army general, I don't think that she's going to stand for all that. Um, okay. We already know that the dam was destroyed and the river flooded. We figured that much out. What do you mean? I'm not listening. In River of Danda spinning what? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. You, you know, you have to wonder like why these games weren't translated into English, and then you come across scenes like this and you're like, oh, that's why. Yeah. Huh. Well, Lydia, you were completely useless. Thanks for nothing. But now that we have uh, talked to him, we can go over and talk to this guy, and uh, we get some more information. Uh, of course. Oh, okay, so we need to get a log from a woodcutter, I know, and fix the dam. Huh. A log from a woodcutter. Do you know of anybody? Yeah. Oh. Rahahili! You don't say. But can we get the wood and fix the dam and save these townspeople? Find out next time on Let's Play Just Breed. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.